Grade 8 Math, number 9.4a. We're doing algebraic representations of transformations now. These are algebraic translations, okay? So we can find the coordinates of the vertices of the image without graphing by using algebra. We can find them algebraically. A change left or right will affect the x-coordinate. So remember, x is orange, okay? And a change up or down will affect the y-coordinate, okay? And that's green. And these are specific rules for a transformation. And if you remember from the last unit, 9.3, transformations are a function that describe a position, a size, or shape of a figure. And there are three transformations, okay? I'm going to try to get all of this in here. A translation slides. The shape and size and orientation stay the same. It just slides back and forth. A reflection flips, like these two guys. Well, it's really one guy who's flipped over with a mirror image, isn't he? And his shape and size is the same, but his orientation has changed. See, it's different. And a rotation is turning. The shape and size are going to stay the same, but the orientation is going to be different because they're going to spin. See? All right? So those are the three types of transformations. We're going to do translations algebraically, and in the next coming up units, we'll do the reflections and then the rotations. Now, I want to remember on the coordinate plane, the way to remember which quadrant is which is it starts like a shape of a C. It starts here and comes around for C as in coordinate plane. See? Coordinate starts with a C. So think of the letter C. That's quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Okay? It's the letter C for coordinate. All right? So here's our little chart of translations algebraically. For the x values, for right, if we add, if we have a units, we're going to add a to that x coordinate. It's going to be, the x and y is going to become x plus a and then the y. And if we're going to move left a units, a, a number of units, we're going to subtract a from the x coordinate. So x, y will be x minus a and then y. And for y, if we move up, up and down, the B number of units, whatever that number is that B is standing for, we're going to add that amount of numbers to the Y coordinate. And if we're going to go down, we're going to subtract that B number of units from the Y coordinate. So it'll be X, Y minus B, okay? So that's how it's going to move. So we have triangle X, Y, Z right here. And it has vertices of x is at 0, 0 at the origin, y is at 2, 3, which is x, y, and z is at 4, uh-oh, I don't have my comma here, do I? 4, comma, negative 1. So here's our labels right here. We have x, we have y, and we have z right here, okay? That's the 4, negative 1. See that? That's at the origin. This is at 2, comma, 3, all right? So we can find the vertices of triangle x prime, y prime, z prime after a translation. Remember, that's a sliding. He's translating after a sliding of three units to the right and one unit down. So if x is going to go three units to the right and one unit down, it's going to go one, two, three to the right, and it's going to go one unit down, and x is now going to be here, isn't it? And y is going to go three units to the right, one, two, three, and one unit down. And now y prime is going to be there. So this is x prime. And z was here, and it's going to go one, two, three units to the right and one unit down. And now it's going to be here. See? So we can graph this triangle and its image. Well, how, how we do it algebraically is... These are the vertices of triangle. Remember when you see a little shape of a triangle like that, it means triangle X, Y, Z. And here's our rule. We have to go three to the right. So that's three positive, right? Because as we go this way, the numbers are getting bigger. They're getting, we're going positive. So we're adding. And Y is going to be going down one unit. And that's going into the negative. So we're subtracting, aren't we? So X is going to add three and Y is going to take away one. So the vertices of triangle x prime, y prime, z prime are going to follow. So if x is at 0, 0, we're going to add 3 to the 0 for x, and we're going to take away 1 for the 0 for y. 
that's going to give us a 3 and a negative 1. y was at 2 and 3 for x and y, so x is going to be 2 plus 3, and y is going to be 3 take away 1. See? It follows the rule. So it, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 3 take away 1 is 2. That's its new location for the, for the x prime, y prime, z prime triangle, okay? For z, it was at 4 and negative 1 for x and y, so 4 plus 3 is x, that's 7, and negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So that's the new vertex for z prime, see? So we graph x, y, z and its image, x prime, y prime, z prime. x moves right 3 and down 1, and y does the same as x, and z does the same as x and y. We add 3 on the x-axis for x, y, and z, and we subtract 1 on the y-axis for x, y, and z. And our triangle goes from being here to being here. It just slid. See that? We didn't rotate it. We didn't reflect it. We just slid it like an ice skater. Boom. See? It just slides right into place. Okay? He's translating. He's just sliding. And by using this rule, applying the rule to find the vertices of the image, we can do it algebraically. Okay? So this is really important right here. I'm going to freeze on this for a while. So if you want to pause it and copy this, you can. This is going to be very helpful for you, all right? So you'll know what to do if you go left and right for x or up and down for y, all right? Okay, I hope this video was helpful. We're going to continue on and we're going to talk about uh, doing reflections algebraically in the next video, 9.4b, all right? We're getting there, aren't we? Yeah. You'll be okay. Just keep following, and I'll take it in little steps, and we'll slowly move forward, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.